let us see the first module of digital banking in this module we will see how digital banking evolved in the banking industry the important terms and some important statistics initially in olden days the banking entire banking process was done in a manual way they had a manual ledger for making entry of each and every account that has been opened whenever a customer wants to deposit cash or to take payment a record has been made manually in those ledgers and then only the transactions were done later on with the improvement of technology advanced ledger posting machine was introduced using this the branch operations were automated systems allowed the operation of the branch either to open the account to credit the account and to debit account but still different branches of the bank was not connected with the wider availability of internet core banking system was introduced using core banking system banks were able to interlink its various branches now let's look at the key statistics in 2014 our country stood at ninth position in gdp with 2.067 dollar and third position in purchasing power parity at 7.4 trillion dollars In 2013 India had a growth of 6.9% in which the actual growth it is the growth after adjusting for inflation was at 3.2%. It has been estimated that our Indian economy would grow at a rate of 7.5% and 7.6% at 2016 and 2017. the total population of india stood at around 1300 million the total number of branches available in india are 120000 with each branch approximately serving 11000 people the total number of atm stood at 2 lakhs with each atm serving approximately 6500 people we all know there are various alternate delivery channels available like atm card atms internet banking mobile banking etc among all these channels the gen y people whom are called the younger generation people mostly prefer mobile banking channel but when we look at internet banking it is equally preferred by all age group the percentage of baby boomers baby boomers are the people who are born in the year between 1946 to 1964 this percentage of baby boomers in us was about 30 to 40 percent in india the maximum population or in the age group of 25 to 54 years they constitute about 40.6 percent of our entire population whenever we design a digital product the main thing which has to be kept in our mind is customer preference the digital product should be in such a way making a unique platform for customers security is a cornerstone for digital banking 
whatever products that are designed should be built over a secure and strong security platform to keep the information secure we have to ensure three main parameters they are confidentiality integrity and availability this is popularly abbreviated as cia c confidentiality it means only the authorized people will get access to the data integrity integrity means whatever data that has been transmitted in the process of a transaction should not be changed by any other third party the intended user should get the actual data which has been sent by the sender availability the data should be available whenever it is needed a proper backup should be readily made available so that no interruption is is caused in the banking operation there are many abbreviations used in module 1 but those are common abbreviations the important thing what we need to note is provided here ppp which means purchasing power parity don't forget to check out the let sum up section and check your progress section at the end of each module thank you